The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Toronto. How are black, indigenous and minority communities experiencing COVID-19? Generations of such communities have faced and continue to face systemic racism. Many remain disproportionately unemployed and food insecure. In fact, low-income communities will find it difficult to protect themselves from COVID-19 as money is needed to support social distancing, buy food supplies and hand sanitizers. The situation doesn't improve even for those working in healthcare. African and indigenous healthcare workers are not often found in decision-making roles, and they experience increased levels of employment disparity and violence. Race also impacts how we see diseases. Ongoing anti-Asian racism has increased by Trump's labeling of COVID-19 as the China virus. The reactions are similar to Ebola and HIV. These were initially seen as exclusively African and Black in nature. Did racism also impact the global response to COVID-19? World leaders focused on China instead of their own countries. The response mirrors world crises where deaths of racialized communities are not taken seriously by Western nations and media. Case in point, the world's lack of action on Ebola and currently the lack of support to Venezuela and Iran. This story was adapted from University of Toronto professor Roberta K. Simothy's article, Coronavirus is not the great equalizer. Race matters.